I think we were just so preoccupied with whether or not we could that we didn't stop to think if we should. Hi there everyone. I am super excited to be able to make this video for you today because I am announcing a new limited edition Supernova motor. The Supernova 2207 1570 kV 48S. This takes the magnetic design of the Supernova 2207 and rewinds it for the maximum possible performance, the maximum thrust, power and responsiveness on 8S. This thing is totally insane and I cannot wait to share the numbers with you. So let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. Dr Jekyll, meet Mr Hyde. This is the new 1570 kV variant of the Supernova 2207 and it shares a lot of the same features as the 1980 kV variant. We have the same 7075 aluminium unibel design for maximum durability with a hollow titanium shaft, an M3 shaft screw. We've got a protective o-ring on the top bearing to cushion it in a crash and we're using the same optimized magnetic layout to get the maximum possible torque from the motor. The windings use the same 260 degree C rated military grade enamel that we use on the 1980 kV variant and that's even more important because of the extra power that we're going to be delivering to this motor. RCM Power have also done this absolutely gorgeous red and gold colour scheme with a gold prop nut and I think it just looks fantastic on this motor. Before we dive into the frankly ridiculous performance of this motor, I just want to let you know that links to the datasheet, specs and retailers who are going to be carrying this motor at launch are all down in the video description for you, so make sure you check those out. Let's take a look at the performance of this new motor as measured on the thrust test stand. And we're going to be comparing the Supernova 2207 1570 kV on 8S against the 1980 kV version on 6S and the average of all of the 6S motors that I've tested up until now, not including the supernovas. Let's start by looking at maximum thrust. We can see that the average 6S motor will deliver about 1,650 grams of thrust on my HQ 5x4.5x3 V1S test prop at full throttle. The Supernova 2207 1980 kV on 6S is the most powerful motor that I've tested on 6S and it delivers substantially more thrust than that. Close to 2000 grams at full throttle and that's an improvement over the average of 21.2%. Obviously the 1570 kV variant on 8S is even more powerful and it's able to deliver more than 2.3 kilos of thrust, 2300 grams at full throttle and that's an improvement of 37.6% over the average and an improvement of 16% over the most powerful motor I've ever tested up until now. Obviously all that power isn't worth much unless the motor remains efficient, otherwise it's just going to get way too hot. The average 6S motor has an efficiency of about 77.4% at 350 watts of mechanical power delivered. The Supernova 2207 1980 kV on 6S is one of the most efficient motors that I've ever tested and it achieves well in excess of 80%, about 80.77% efficient at 350 watts of mechanical power delivered. That's an improvement of 4.4% over the average. The 1570 kV variant of the Supernova on 8S is tuned for maximum performance and we've still been able to achieve a really good efficiency in excess of 80%. That puts it as still one of the most efficient motors I've ever tested and it's an improvement of 3.5% over the baseline. The torque that a motor can deliver is a really good measure of its mechanical performance and its overall magnetic design. The average success motor can deliver about 0.22 newton meters of torque at 50% throttle peak and that's measured using a flywheel dyno test. The Supernova 2207 1980 kV is the most torquey motor that I've ever tested on 6S and it delivers over 0.3 newton meters, an improvement of 42.6% over the average. But the 1570 kV variant on 8S takes that even further. It improves over the average by 57.9%, delivering over 0.34 newton meters of torque at 50% throttle peak. This is a huge improvement and it's going to make a big difference to the responsiveness of the motor and how quickly it's able to change the RPM of the prop. We can see that for an average 6S motor, the responsiveness when you sum the acceleration and deceleration together is in excess of 300,000 RPM per second. 
The Supernova 2207 1980KV on 6S is the most responsive motor I've ever tested on 6S and it improves over that baseline by 27% and it's delivering close to 400,000 RPM per second. But even this sort of pales in comparison to what the 1570KV variant is able to achieve. It improves over the average by 60.9% and it's delivering nearly 500,000 RPM per second in combined acceleration and deceleration, which is a huge improvement. And that's gonna really help your quad feel locked and steady in the air because the motor is able to change RPM and therefore thrust so quickly. And that just helps keep the quad really, really stable. This combination of torque, responsiveness, and maximum thrust is gonna have a huge effect on how you tune any drone that's running these new 1570 kV supernovas on 8S. You can use your normal tunes and the AOS presets that I provide in the Betaflight configurator, but you must, must, must turn down your master multiplier when you start tuning. I would suggest maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7, something like that. You have to turn that master right down. If you have the master multiplier at 1.0 or even 1.1, 1.2, which is what some of these presets have it set at, you are going to get oscillations and flyaways immediately. Um, these motors are just way too powerful. They're gonna amplify up your PID gains and you're gonna get oscillations and flyaways. So you must turn that master multiplier down start at about 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and then gradually work your way back up to the level that uh, your quad is happy at, where you get the maximum responsiveness without any oscillations. But just a public service announcement, start with the master multiplier turned right down. And that brings us neatly to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoy these new motors, and I have to give a huge thank you to everyone who suggested that I make an 8S version of the Supernova, you absolute maniacs. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.